Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and today I have plenty of vocabulary words for you. Oh wait, I meant vocabulary words for you. Ah, oh, that word's so hard to pronounce. It must be hard to pronounce GRE words day. Yep, you got it, and hopefully I don't bungle these hard to pronounce GRE words, starting with clairvoyant. Got it. When you see it spelled, it looks scary, but it's not that hard to say, clair and voyant. So if you know any French or even some Latin, that will help you. Claire to see, to, or clear, 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 easy. Voyance, to see, comes from the French to see. So to see clearly, what does that mean? Oh, I have new glasses, I'm clairvoyant. Not exactly. Someone who's clairvoyant clearly sees the future, what's going to happen. So in 2003, some economists were talking about there will be a correction to the economy and we're gonna have a major recession. They proved to be clairvoyant in the sense that, you know, five, six years down the road, there was exactly that. So that's the context where you see clairvoyant. It won't be like, oh, I gotta call the clairvoyant hotline. Whoa, tell me what's gonna happen to me today. Not in that context. Next hard to pronounce word is pusillanimous? Pusillanimous? Oh, that just sounds bad. No, it's pusillanimous. Someone who's pusillanimous, lily livered, or craven and cowardly. Oh, I don't wanna do anything bad. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna upset everyone. I'm gonna be pusillanimous. Next word up, salubrious. Ooh, that's just fun to say, salubrious. And that's how you pronounce it, you don't have to use that exact intonation, but salubrious means something that is healthy, health-giving. Ah, this new climate, now that it's spring and the sun is out, is so salubrious, I feel 10 years younger. And of course, if you are seeing it in the GRE context, something that's salubrious might also be like, oh, this is intellectually salubrious and was helpful for this project, that kind of context. Next up, cacophony. It's not cacophony. Cacophony. Nope. Cacophony. More fun to say that way anyway. Or actually, cacophony is probably more fun to say, but it is cacophony. And what does that mean? Well, it's one of these words that kind of sounds like what it means. Let's take a look at the phone part first. Phone is to sound. Okay, and caco, how does that sound? Terrible. And that's the actual root from Greek. But cacophony is something that is harsh sounding. So if I just had a chalkboard here, and I started screaming really loud while scratching the chalkboard like a cat, that would be a cacophony. And I promise though, I won't do that. Next word is satiety. Now it kind of looks like satiate, like satiety. Oh, I have satiety. But don't pronounce it that way. Make sure you put the emphasis on this first T, satiety. And it's just a fancy way of saying, hey, I've had enough to eat. Or I've been reading 17th century works of British literature, for the last three months, I think I've reached satiety. And then finally, it's buoyant. It's not girl aunt, but it's her brother, buoyant. No, just kidding. Buoyant, or buoyant, means to be full of energy and very bouncy and alive. Hey, I'm so happy it's spring, that kind of idea. And a good mnemonic for this is if you ever go out swimming in the ocean, you'll see these things bobbing on the surface. Those are called buoys. And their job, of course, is to alert you, don't go beyond this point. But if you think about it, they're always bobbing up and down. They're very happy. There you have it. Those are some of the words that are hard to pronounce, but I'm guessing after this video, hopefully they won't be that hard to pronounce anymore. If you like this video, then click the link in the description below and join the thousands of students using Magoosh to ace the GRE. If you want more vocabulary, then click on the videos to the left.